So, I'm absolutely exhausted, uh, falling asleep in my chair a bit, and editing the uh, latest episode of the Agoras Nexus podcast. Feel free to check that out if you want. But um, I need to get this out because I have a streak going, and I think it'd be fucking hilarious if I could maintain it for like, you know, a month, a year, etc. Um... If you like these vlogs, feel free to subscribe and like the video. It helps a lot. But uh, if you don't like the vlogs, that's understandable because they're highly informal and I'm a mess and I'm wearing a t-shirt and I've got my window open. There's a train. You can probably hear the train in the background. I don't know. I just, I, I figured that like some of my shit is too polished and, uh, and I'm trying too hard to make content a lot of the time. And it means that there's massive gaps between content that there doesn't necessarily need to be. Um, you know, I could talk about subjects every day. And in this particular case, uh, a nice subject fell right in my lap with Facebook's fucking algorithm. Which seems to be directly engineered to get me to argue with things that piss me off. So, in this particular case, um, I argued with a bunch of idiots who <laughs> don't actually have an argument, uh, but they have plenty of things to say anyway, in the Fakertarians discussion group. Now, I like some of the stuff they do. You know, some of the people that they go after genuinely deserve it, and we have some mutual enemies, uh, but... That doesn't mean that every little thing uh, that they post is something that I will agree with. And in this case, <laughs> uh, somebody dared to go against the grain. And uh, I'm not going to say his name. I don't want him to get harassed in case something does happen. Uh, but he posts not going to be checking comments, at least not till much later, as I have much going on this week. If we can't agree to unite on this platform, I'm not sure we share the same ideology. That's what I'll say for now. And what he did was he posted a Dave Smith tweet. Dave Smith is a libertarian podcaster. Uh, he's also a comedian. And he uh, posts this thing that says, Is there any libertarian who doesn't agree with the following? No COVID passports, end the lockdowns, end the wars, end the drug war, end all corporate welfare, audit and end the Fed. If we all agree... Let's unite around these issues and focus on pushing them. Forget the distractions. I like that. And I think that that's a reasonable place to start. Um, but a bunch of people took a knee-jerk stance against it um, and accused him of saying things he wasn't saying. The, the primary thing that I did was I went into some of these comments and made the mistake of replying to them. Um... And, and one of the, the primary things that people were saying is that he was saying government should ban vaccine passports. Now, for those of you who don't know what a passport is, it's issued by the state, and it's uh, designed to prevent or authorize certain activities based on your compliance with legal standards. Um in this, in a normal case of, of passports, it's to travel. Um, and in this particular case, the word passport is being used because you wouldn't be able to move about your normal day. You wouldn't be able to do business in certain ways. Uh, and generally, it makes things less pleasant if you don't have your proof of vaccination. At least that's what it would be if it were a vaccine passport, which is something that many people were concerned about. Now, there's the edge cases of places like Florida where they're, you know, saying that this isn't going to be a thing, where the government is actively banning the use of uh, vaccine certification as a means of proving that you have been vaccinated and that you can engage in commerce, etc. You know, interface with the economy. I think that was gunfire. Um, but in general, um, this, this sort of thing uh, is still being seriously kicked around. Especially the idea of biometric IDs 
being used as a method of entry into schools, etc., um, which is already being used in a variety of places, um, including China and many uh, other countries and many places in the U.S. are already starting to sort of use this sort of thing uh, and say, if you're, if you're not vaccinated, you don't get to participate in society. It, we won't let you do it. Um, and, and let me be very clear when I say that uh, that is tyranny. Um, it's corporate tyranny because the corporations doing this were heavily empowered by the state. Uh, their corporate power got to consolidate nice and small in the hands of yet fewer people because all the small businesses that people would have gone to uh, were shut down. So they were basically forced into the loving arms of Walmart and uh, various other corporate monopolists who also work with the state. So w when it ends up with this territory, it's it's like it's real close to fascism. And then you get to the fact that the War Powers Authorization uh, Act or whatever was done and uh, <laughs> manufacturing was done in the name of national defense from a foreign threat and a huge amount of money was given to the Pentagon and also corporations to make the COVID response. And then you find out, hey, you know what? This is actually just fascism. And the COVID passports, the vaccine passports, would just be papers, please. Um, a very common element of fascism is papers, please. So, to be clear, that's exactly what this is. This is uh, a fascist policy for a slowly, uh, more and more blatantly fascist America. Now, the Fakertarians are allegedly a, a left libertarian group, uh, which means that they should be sympathetic to anti-fascism. But they're pushing the same fascist policies uh, as, as a large group of people in this comment section because they don't like Dave Smith. And they're lying about what he's saying because nowhere, I can't find a single fucking place where he has said governments should ban vaccine passports a at that point it's not a passport if the government isn't enforcing these things if the government isn't saying yeah you know what we're gonna help keep people away from certain elements of society because they didn't fill out the proper paperwork that's not a passport anymore um and if it's not required to begin with if you can still interface in society without it then it's not a passport then either. The whole idea of the vaccine passport is that without it, you can't do business. Sort of like the mark of the beast in Revelation. So like, to be very clear and extremely specific, the vaccine passport can't be banned by the government. It doesn't happen. Um, it stops being a passport at that point. And if the state never required it to begin with, it was never a passport. So when Dave Smith says no vaccine passports, he's saying they shouldn't exist to begin with. Not that they should be banned. Uh, but it, like so many people in this comment section are saying he's calling for government bans with no actual evidence. Zero evidence. A big fat fucking goose egg. Um, and then I pressed one of them about it, who's actually an admin in the group, and might fucking ban me after this video. I don't fucking know. But <laughs> uh, the guy the guy says, I don't... I, I could care less, which it's couldn't care less, but I could care less what Dave says. It's, it's like, it just falls in your lap, right? And I tweeted some of this stuff to my my Twitter account over there, Jeremiah EXE, which has double the followers that Fakertarians does. I wonder fucking why. Um, either way, the point is that, like, uh, these people aren't interested in what he actually said. These people are interested in feeding their two minutes hate against somebody that somebody they don't like. Now, to be clear, I don't 
100% endorse him either. I've seen him say some stuff that I don't like. But he's a human, and I'm a human. We're allowed to differ on opinions. In this case, I don't differ with a single thing. Uh, so it's nice to have some common ground. But these people aren't interested in common ground. Which is also why they disagreed with element number two, which was end the lockdowns. Because, and I quote, there never was a lockdown. Yeah, that's right. People weren't being arrested for going to the beach. People weren't being arrested for being in public or for being in gatherings with one another. There were no lockdowns. No, there were lockdowns. There were lockdowns where you had to be in your house and would be questioned if you weren't. And if you were questioned and they didn't like the answers to the questions, they could detain or arrest you. And this happened a significant number of times. Uh, public gatherings were heavily restricted in many places in America. Um, and regularly, uh, parties were shut down. Um, things were stopped by police actions. Uh, there, was, there was even a party. I don't remember which one it was. But there was a party at like a YouTuber's house. And the city shut down power to their house. Because they weren't obeying lockdown restrictions. They weren't obeying these COVID restrictions that said that you have to do what we say or we will stop you. That's lockdown. That's lockdown. But you know what isn't lockdown? I, I can't fucking remember the bar. But there was this bar that I think it was LAPD cops were literally hanging out in and going to a party in. And they were doing it and getting away with it with no public scrutiny uh, except a few angry tweets. I think they actually totally got away with it. I don't think there was any reprimand, if I remember correctly. Um, if you can remember the, the bar or whatever that I'm thinking of, and if I am wrong about that, then let me know. But uh, they, they got away with it for a significant period of time anyway. They, the, the guy just let them in. Um, and these cup parties happened semi-frequently, all while they were stopping other people's. I just find that interesting. It's almost like a caste system, and the people who enforce the government's laws get better treatment. And it's almost like this isn't about stopping a virus, because if it was, then government employees would be the first ones to follow their own rules. But, you know, all that quibbling aside... Um, the point is, people were being arrested. There was a real famous case of a guy who was alone on a beach, alone in the middle of the ocean, boogie boarding. And they arrested him. They sent boats after him. And then they sent, like, so many cars and so many fucking cops to arrest one guy who had the audacity to be on the ocean when they said don't. When they said stay home. Remember hashtag stay home? There were fucking lockdowns. So whenever you hear this, I guess, semi-popular bullshit, call it bullshit. Because it's bullshit. There were lockdowns. So many people called them lockdowns. Um, and that's what a lockdown is. It's when you can't do what you want. And when you get outside it's like yard time in a prison you have to do whatever you're told and you have to go back to your cell quick before curfew that's a lockdown so let me be real fucking clear here and say that the reasons this group was upset with uh dave smith are all bullshit except the uh the the civil treatment the exotically civil treatment that i got from uh john hudak uh who i think owns the page if i understand correctly he actually did respond to me civilly um and he uh <laughs> he gave me a couple of good inroads on things that you know make people not like dave smith but to be clear 
even those things didn't actually contradict what was said in the tweet. So even those things aren't meaningful points of contention with Dave Smith's tweet. So even by that standard, even if you hated him because of those things, that's what you hate him for, not that tweet. And when all these people are lying about what he said, uh, claiming he's trying to ban uh, COVID passports or whatever... Uh, when when they're lying and then they have the audacity to say they don't actually care what he said. When I keep on pressuring them, needling them, where did he say this? Where did he say this? Right? They can't answer. They're not interested in facts or reason. They just want to feel good and shit on somebody as a group. That's it. Period. Um... Now, the things that I did disagree with is apparently he supports the Rothbard paleo strategy and the Unleash the Cops modus. Uh, I was sent a link that I will be making a fuller video response to. Um, and it'll probably just be really a rehashing of my existing article, uh, the one on JeremiahHarding.com, where you can already find me debunking the idea that he was just talking about mean people. Because uh, he's not. He really isn't. I listened to the segment of the podcast under question, and uh, it's, it's, it's not true. And I do disagree. But it's like, you know, this is one example among so many other things that I would probably agree with Dave on, including the things that he listed in this tweet, including ending the lockdowns, including no, not, you know, government banning, but no vaccine passports a government document um so there are things that i disagree with him on if i understand he's one of the people who pushes the cathedral bullshit i'll be making something on that at some point but uh, it's basically like an alt-right idea of uh there's this cabal of media and government and they are pushing everything to the left and no, they aren't. Um, they're 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 going with it temporarily uh, in order to maintain profit in this world. They're doing it while keeping all of their rightist policies and positions, and still making a shit ton of money at the workers' expense. They're definitely not leftists. Okay, the cathedral is a right-wing way of saying the state in a leftist sense, that being the merger of government and capital. That's what the cathedral is, right? And the media was always considered an arm of the state within the terms of the state, as it was originally discussed. Uh, it was just considered media business, right? And it was always considered to push the agenda of the state, because that's what the mainstream does. It maintains the status quo. So, I do disagree with some things that Dave Smith says, but to be clear, this isn't the reason. And it shouldn't be your reason either. Like, imagine, for a moment, disagreeing with somebody when they said that things shouldn't be locked down. And calling yourself a libertarian. Imagine being a libertarian lockdowner. How does that work? It doesn't. Um, imagine being a libertarian who supports government papers required for doing certain things. You can't. And that's what passports are. You know? And yeah, lockdowns are real. Um, but these were the real sticky sticking points with these people. And they had no actual arguments to back up what they were saying. None. Zero. Um, so I just thought that this would be a good uh, good starting place for today's uh, vlog, and maybe there will be a bunch of angry comments for when I go over comments in, uh, what'd that be, uh, two days? Because uh, I do a stream at the end of the week where I go over the comments. But yeah, you know what? <laughs> if you can't find a better reason not to have common ground, maybe, maybe libertarianism isn't what you really like. And maybe what you really like is an excuse to go after one side. 
the real truth is we need to go after both sides. And in the same podcast where uh, he talks about the Unleash the Cops thing, he says he disagrees with Rothbard's uh, exclusively appealing to the right mentality. He said, and I quote, we need to attack the left from the left and the right from the right, which is what I've been doing for like five years now, and it constantly gets me hate. So feel free to subscribe to this if you like this, uh, or if you want to be one of my hate followers, because I have so many of those. Uh, but really, a lot of these people just, they want somebody to hate. They want a side to choose so that they can justify attacking the other one. That's all. That's it. Um, and when, when they choose that side, uh, it's real easy for them to ignore common ground, to create things where there weren't any, that being lying, and to push this as the only way in a libertarian world. Well, that ain't it, honey. It ain't it. And there were so many people in there just dogpiling me for having the audacity to side with an accurate tweet. So, feel free to join the dog pile. But yeah, that's today's rant. Uh, <coughs> this is brought to you by Offset Drip. 240 glorious pixels of Shemog born libertarian content. Uh, it's news in bite size, and you can watch it whenever you want. Feel free to sub. His link is here. Mine is here. Smash the state. <laughs>